Well, now we're up to the first hit from Born to Do It, an album that takes its title from a line in a movie from 1971, a movie about a, quote, non-pollutionary, anti-institutionary, pro-confectionary factory of fun. It was 30 years ago that a novel by writer Roald Dahl was turned into a fantasy that has a powerful cult following to this very day. The film is called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's a fantasy about a poor boy named Charlie who lives a very sad life. And then he hears that he's won a golden ticket to go on a tour of Willy Wonka's famous chocolate factory, a place of dreams. And it was a line in that movie that inspired British singer and songwriter Craig David to name his album Born to Do It. Craig says at one point in the film, a boy runs into the candy factory and asks the candy man, how does he do it? Craig says, quote, the candy man replies, do you ask how a bird flies? Do you ask how a fish swims? No siree, you don't because they were born to do it. Craig goes on to say, I feel I was born to sing and write songs, unquote. This week, the British singer who was born to do it has survey song number 37 in AT40, Craig David with Fill Me In. All right. In for Casey Kasem, I'm Ed McMahon. AT40 originates in Hollywood. Leaping five notches to number 28 is a singer and songwriter who originated in Southampton, England. Craig David with Fill Me In. American Top 40. Well, now we're up to the song, What's Your Flavor? By a singer who had a job as a telemarketer until a man he called unknowingly convinced him he couldn't keep doing what he was doing. Craig David says before he made it as a musician, he worked in the world of telephone sales. He says, quote, I was somebody who phoned people up at home saying, do you want to buy double glazed windows? He says he was never really happy with the job. He wanted to make music, not sales calls. And then he called one potential client who unknowingly convinced Craig that he was in the wrong business. Craig says, quote, I phoned someone and they said, you know what? I'm at home, and you're phoning me while I'm trying to chill. How about if I phone you back when you're trying to relax at home, and we can talk about Windows then, unquote. Well, Craig says, I thought this person was so right. I had no way to argue with him. And so Craig left his job in phone sales and looked for another line of work. He tried a course in electronics assembly before finally deciding he wanted to make music and not build the equipment it was played on. From then on, he dedicated himself to making it in the music business, and make it he has. This week, the former telemarketer has survey song number 29 on AT40. Here's Craig David with What's Your Flavor? What's your flavor? Number 52. This next hit is by a double winner at this year's MTV Europe Music Awards. Craig David took home the trophies for Best R&B Act and Best UK Act. Now, walking away with survey song number 52 on our year-end survey, here's Craig David with Walking Away. These are the biggest pop hits of 2002. Radio's 22nd most played hit is by Craig David, a British singer and songwriter who took courses in cooking, restaurant management, electronics, and wiring before he decided his future lay in music and not quiche or computers. Here's Craig David creating a world of music in seven days. Counting down the hits with Casey Kasem. 